G'day mates and welcome to Nantucket. For those of you who don't know, this is a essentially a whaling ship sort of uh, management game based off the story of Moby Dick. Now I've never actually read, I've read the summary and all that, uh, but essentially Nantucket is where they sailed out to go hunting for whales, and of course, I hope at some point you can fight Moby Dick in this, but let's dive in, because the game is best shown. Dearest me, I almost forgot. Thank you very much to Pic uh, Picturesque Studios, Jesus, I can say that word, uh, the devs behind this game who actually gave me the key for free, so thank you very much to them. Um, so that's why I've been playing this, because so, I didn't actually know about it before then. Um, and then someone mentioned to me on Discord, and I'm like, shit, I, I saw an email for that game. And so I went back and looked, put it on, and yeah, well, the game's really good. So, well, I mean, from what I've seen, it could be awful past the first ten minutes, but I highly doubt it. <laughs> so thank you, Picturesque uh, Studios, for offering me this uh, opportunity. Ishmael, of course, we shall play as him. Ish is Ishmael? How do you actually say it? Ishmael? I'm just going to stick with Ishmael. Right. Um, we're going to be running with him. Now, you get to choose different stats. You've got, like, a ship to manage. You've got different characters in the ship. It's pretty bloody nuts. So, hunting is one of the stats, which is basically fighting, um, you know, hunting down whales. Sailing is how to keep a, a boat afloat. Science is how to keep people alive and unlock the sea's mysteries. And then craftsman is repairing shit and building shit. So, we're going to go hunting for my uh, main boy. I'm going to go with the strong trait. You can also go with smart... Might need to turn this uh, game down slightly. There we go. With smart, healthy, or old sea dog, or open-minded. I'm gonna go, actually, open-minded. We'll get extra XP. We'll, like, we'll boost up and level up faster. Sure. There we go. We'll do this. Lovely. Let's go. I love this little intro. Here we go. Drink ye harpooners. Drink and swear. Ye men that man the deathful whale boats bow. Death to Moby Dick. God hunt us all if we do not hunt Moby Dick to his death. Cursed be the man that trusteth in man, and maketh flesh his arm. I was cursed. Twice. By the Lord for my blasphemous promise to hunt Moby Dick, and by Ahab for surviving the Pequod and its sons swallowed by the sea. I was craving to conquer my spot in heaven by striking my iron in Moby Dick's heart. So I headed back to Nantucket, looking for a new ship and wealth-seeking sailors. Well, that's well cool. So you actually play Ishmael after the story of Moby Dick. Ahab's already dead. Ahab was the captain who was crazy about hunting down Moby Dick. He was the guy with the, if we don't hunt down Moby Dick, God'll hunt us, or something along those lines. Um... But I guess, yeah, we, I guess the final mission of this game would probably be killing Moby Dick. Anyway. Little boy here. Read all about it. King George IV. Yes, I can actually read Roman numerals now. Is a new king of the United Kingdom of Britain and Ireland. The Russian sloop Vostok claims to have sighted the ice sheet of Terra Australis. Ooh. Portuguese forces defeat uh, Uruguayan independentists in Takaraka um, right. We'll get some jobs from here as well. Ooh, we can find a ship. Ooh. Yeah, sure, let's do that. Let's, let's, uh, let's find the Illinois' destiny, sure. The Illinois was de uh, declared lost days ago. Her destiny shrouded in mystery. She was traveling from Nantucket to Co uh, Cora Ra- Ra- <laughs> Fucking Christ. Rareka. But she never reached her destination. Explore the route she took to locate the ship and, and her crew. Accepted. Good. So there we go. We've got a job. So that is um, one thing. You also need to look at your crew. Now, you don't actually pay to hire the crew, and you can hire uh, uh, harpooners, sailors, craftsmanship, scientists, and cabin boys. Um, let's actually look at our ship real quick and see who we've got. Is there anyone to see? No, that's all technology. How do we actually see where our crew is? Do, 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 do. Reminds me of, like pirates, this game almost. Um, 
Okay, right, okay, so here's our men. So we have three slots for people. We're gonna get, we're already a harpooner, so we're gonna get a sailor. Um, oh. Oh, nice, it shows their nationality. So these are all Americans then, yeah? Also, they all look identical, but whatever. Is anyone not American? I guess if I put down in a port, like another port, like a, uh, a foreign port, I could get uh, one that wasn't American. The combat system is actually really interesting in this game. Um, oh wait, do you actually have to pay? Oh, do you have to pay a one-time cost? Oh no, that might be prestige. Okay, right, so I assume my prestige is four, so yeah, right, that, that looks like the prestige cost. Alright, essentially each person takes lay, which means they take a percent of the money made from the ship. Um, so let's get this craftsman, who, what's the trait? Oh, you're lazy, actually. But you're skilled in what? Ooh, decreases your crew consumption by 10, uh, food consumption by 10%. That's really good. Actually, you're quite good. Also, you're pretty shit, so yeah, let's get, let's get Anton in here, you lazy fuck. Anton shall be our chef, which I do enjoy. Can you actually change their names, I wonder? No. Um, we shall get... Donald. No, um... Who are you? Closed minded? Eh, it's not the worst thing. Ship's sailing speed is up. Safe docking in coastal series. That's pretty nice. Alright, sure, we'll get. Oh, shit. Too high level. Alright, um. Look, let's just get Jack. We'll replace him with Marshall when we come back, but we just need a sailor. And let's get a scientist who is going to be. So let's see, we've got. Oh my god, alien? Dude, you're an alien? You're a Xenophilus. Two bursts. Uh, oh, so just basically more crew of different nationalities is better. Um, gains emergency kit. That's pretty good. So that's when used in combat. Um, essentially the scientists are the healers. Have some rest. That's not great. I think this one will be the best. Yeah, the... Oh, hang on. What's what's the trait here? No. Nah, Alright, we'll go with Alvin. Alvin the scientist. Don't have enough prestige. What? Oh, oh, I've got it. Oh, okay, I've got, I've got how it works. Okay, so it's not like I can just have prestige. I have four prestige overall, and so I can only hire four prestige worth of men. Gotcha. Right. Yeah, okay, that's fine. We'll stick with that for now. 100% um, of loot goes to the cat. And not anymore, if I look at this now. Oh, never mind. There's my dice. All right, cool. Let's buy some stuff here. We'll want to buy three barrels of grog. 10 barrels of food, 20 barrels of water, oh, oh, let's return some, and 5 barrels of wood. So wood is how you repair your ship, grog makes, makes people happy, food and water obviously you need. Here is our ship, so we can upgrade the different things on it, the hammocks, the sails, I assume hammocks, let's, uh, no, that's healing, cargo space, crew morale, oh, HP restored a day, we definitely want that eventually, so this is like research and stuff. Standard lens, harpoon base damage, I feel like we should boost up Oh, you get powder. Ooh. Nice, we can actually powder off and shoot people like that. Sure, let's get some uh, more harpoon base damage. Oh, 90 days. Holy shit, okay, so like, in 90 days time, we'll have the new harpoons. Okay, cool. So we're currently a rotten sloop. We could also upgrade to a different sort of things. So we can go up to a brig. And as you can see, like, we've got these four positions here on our ship, right? The latest ships have, like, even more. The one that I saw in the tutorial had, like, 20 positions, it was great. Um, but essentially, we've got five positions, so we can have five men on the ship, right? So, uh, let's... I don't think we have to actually assign anyone. Cool, let's just sail away. Here we go. I'm actually, I, like, I really enjoy the idea of this game, the sort of the way it works and all that, all that good stuff about it. Let me just turn on my lovely timer in the background so I know how long I've got. There we go. So here we go. Um, you can see you've actually got map mode. How oh, <laughs> fucking paradox is this? Um, oh look, Horta. So you, there's places there. I assume we can like trade, or you can fight. What is this? So this is. Oh my god! We chose just the ends of the earth to go to. I'm sad we can't go to Australia. Aww. All right. So as you can see here, um, we've got stuff like prevailing different winds. So if we uh, if we looked at here, there's a prevailing east wind, right? Um, sure. Let's let's go do this story. Rise in the ranks. So we want uh, 25 prestige to become a respected whaler. Alright, set it. 98 days to sail there. That's a fucking journey. We'll have to stop in uh, somewhere to buy more supplies. We'll stop in at Imabutia. Alright, let's go there. Maybe, oh no, maybe we'll like find it along the way though. Maybe it won't, because it didn't reach Kur uh, Kururaka. So we'll probably find it along the way. 
Anyway, so here we go. We'll also end up with random events. Um, is there a speed up? Yes, there is. Cool. All right, we'll do that. You can pause the game. Um, click to center your ship. I like how you sort of unravel the world. I feel like it'd be a lot more beautiful once you've discovered all of it. Oh, while inspecting your ship, you notice that one of your men has set up a gambling table, but he uses Lotus dice to scam money from his shipmates. Um, so a 5% chance that we get rid of Greedy, or a 95% chance that he's just unhappy. Um, I can get the generous trait, but I lose some money. Um, I gain the greedy trait, and I get some money. Or I get the diligent trait, and he is unhappy. Okay, I think what I'm going to do, do with is I'm going to go... I know what generous is. I'm going to go diligent. I want the diligent trait. Yeah, I mean, minus five morale isn't going to do too bad. I will not tolerate cheaters on my ship. So what does diligent do? Oh, a working skill to point. Go to. Okay, so here we go. Um, so what this means is diligent, diligent, diligent. I just get one plus bloody attribute. All right, that's not too bad. Um, oh, dude, I have Abe's doubloon. I actually, I took the doubloon with me. Nice. This is the doubloon from the story of uh, Moby Dick and was in the uh, intro as well. So I can... Oh, so actually I use it in combat, I guess. Survivor's Pride if used by a captain and Call for Gold if used by a crew member. Nice, okay. Oh, no, I guess that just does different things. Prestige plus three if used by a captain. Right, got it. Um, I guess let's keep leveling up my uh, my hunting. Here we go. Okay, we good. Let's let's roll. Man, already I'm loving this sh the game. It's like a it's like a nice little. Oh, should we? Oh, we, we've got a cross. Uh, sorry, the wrong wind. Hey, winds on our favors now. Life on your ship has been a little tedious lately because one of your men has been driving you mad. Every time you order him to perform a task, he takes forever to complete it. He's terribly lazy, and you're considering how diligent you are, you cannot stand it. There is no other man with a diligent trait. Teach him by example. That's not too bad, actually. That's really good. We can get rid of his lazy trait. Leave him be. Whip him! Oh my god, no. We're gonna teach him by example. Done! He's no longer lazy. Anton! Anton, my man! You are my man! Hey, look, the wind's in our favor. Wait. No, is it? Oh, oh, it's not in our favor because there's no wind currently. And now it's in our favor because there is wind, right? See, there's no wind now. It doesn't matter that it's blowing south, there's just no wind. Um, anyway. Man, good fucking, good game this already. I'm, I'm already liking this. Very FTL, sort of, uh, Pirates-esque. Very nice. You could create a safe dock. Oh, so you can just dock anywhere. Nice. I guess that's the, um, lucky, what's called, the reason why I've got that guy. Right. Working shoulder by shoulder with one of your men, you notice his greed. He meticulously checks every ration of grog, food, and water to see if someone else got more than him. Take bigger rations for yourself and let him know. That's a 50-50 that is just not good? No, none of my business. As long as other men do not care, why should I? Good. Oh, I see, so we're actually, we've fallen behind schedule to our uh, arrival here, okay. This is nice. Enter the harbour. Um... Hi, de ho de hi. Hey, South Africa. Uh, sorry, Brazil. Brazilian, rather. We get. Uh, oh, we're gonna get cabin boys. Oh, dude, this cabin boy's fucking good. And he's got no prestige cost. Sure, let's get him. Um, and then what, what that means is we can level him up to be a. Uh, what do you call it? To be a scientist. All right, cool. Um, give me more food. Give me more water. We've got plenty to do the whole journey. Not enough grog, though. All right, we're good. Sail away. Let's also set up our guys, shall we? Because I just realized I haven't done that. Okay, so we can set food rationing, water rationing, grog rationing, right? Um, sh hiccups, ship hull repairing. Okay, here we go. So, forecastle means one plus HP to the burn inside each day. That's not what we want. We want to go six plus... Oh, wait. I guess we can't actually... Oh, shit, we can't man it because it's being upgraded. Whoops. Okay. Um, hull points per day because we have our... Wait, why do we have our sailor in there? Surely our chef should be in there. Yeah, there we go. Four hull points a day, 2% two two sailing speed. We got our cabin boy up the top. So what if we put me up there? Not great, really. So basically, you want to put uh, skills to use, right? Um, you still get a bonus for manning it just anyway, but uh, certain skills are better. Also, I've just realized, yeah, I really should have upgraded my uh, harpoon. Oh, well, because we don't have our harpoons now. Whoops. Let's kick off, shall we? Hang on. Let's go off down here. Um, can I... Oh, that's right. Left click to drag. Here we go. Sailing quick up, and there goes all that. 
Hey, you do not look well. Is everything okay? God, he, my cabin boy Francisco can get syphilis. Please, no. Oh, he's just tired. Thank God. Whew. Whoo-wee. Okay. Making bacon. So many ports are there in the game? One, two... Oh, three, four. Oh, shit. With a lot of water in the hold and a small crew, some water barrels have sat untouched for weeks. Some of them smell funny and the water looks putrid. Oh, okay. So what we can get dysentery... Or we can lose some water. Oh, actually, I'm, I'm going to suffer dysentery instead. No reason to worry, everyone's fine. Christ, I've had good luck so far. Oh, dude, you can actually... Oh, fuck, we just sailed past, like, a fucking... What do you call it? Whirlpool. And there's an iceberg there. Oh, shit. People have started taking larger water rations to keep themselves hydrated during hot days. Oh, no. Back to standard rationing, boys. So I like this. The fact that I have too much stuff for my crew means that people are like, Dude, I'm just gonna drink everything. Fuck you. Oh, wow, okay. So storm. Oh, we're ten days late so far. Man, the day that we can actually get there on time. So you can go to Honolulu. There's no actually east coast of... Uh, sorry, west coast of America. There's just Nantucket. Uh, Karakawa, Kar whatever. One over here. Uh... One in, the, one in Cape Town, one in Europe. So there's not that many ports, but they are, um... I, you can also land your own port. Oh, hello. Hang on. You're, I just saw a ship there. Oh. Wait, was that the... That was the, um... Illinois. Okay. So, you look at spots of smoke plume in the distance coming from a burning ship. Approaching the ship looks like the one you were looking for, but the fire is rapidly destroying it. Wait, did the fire just start? Because it was months. Like, it's been months, dude. Okay, so we can either board the ship and scavenge for money we can board the ship and scavenge for not money we can look for survivors and get prestige I kind of want the money though let us board the ship and look for money dude they probably have navigation problems we found some money in the captain's cabin I'm so lucky so far well there we go we found the uh what do you call it so we gotta go back there now I guess Oh shit. While updating your log, one of the men knocks at your door with a troubled face. I'm sorry to interrupt your captain. I need you to ask you something important. My f son fell ill and I took a loan from some shady, shady men to cure him. Now they want their money back and they threaten to harm my family if I do not pay them. Will you consider helping me? Um. How did they talk to you? But yes, we will do our best to help you. Oh shit, when I got a quest. The sailor beams and bows. Thank you, captain. I'll leave you to your work. Was Francisco? Hey, what a boy. You have a son? Okay. Anyway, so we need to now go to Nantucket to get our, uh... Oh, shit. No, no, no. Hang on. To get our work back. No, stop. I don't want to... Ugh. You run out of grog soon and your men will not like it. Well, looking at the last barrel, you begin to think there's something you might be able to do about it before it's too late. Dilute the rum with water. I will cease drinking grog so that my crew can have more. Nice. Hang on. Oh, Hello. Anyway, so, look, we'll do that. So we're going to go back there, sure. We'll go, we'll go do all that in a moment. But look at this real quick. Hang on a second. Um, can we get can we get rid of that? I was going to say... Okay, so we can create... We can just stop somewhere and start hunting whales. Okay, alright. But no, let, let's get to the town, shall we? Because we're about to run out of grog. We need to go buy more. Also, what does Tito Taylor do? Minus 100% grog consumption. Shit, Pharaoh. Enter the harbour. Running out of essential goods, I'm aware, I'm aware. Um, here we go, five barrels of grog. Look, let's get three, that should do me. Get a little bit more of that. Actually, we're gonna need wood, so we'll sell back some of the, uh, some of that. Actually, let's cancel and go from the start, right? One, two, three. One, two, three. That'll do. Good. Um, no one to hire here. We can talk. There's no newspaper, so no jobs. Oh, look, he's got a dog there. I love the art style of this game. God. Right, let's let's go back to sailing, shall we? Um, Captain Eat Bones. <laughs> I like that. Oh, cash 99999. Fucking Christ, I, I love their little, like, screen here. It's just the most overpowered bullshit in the world. Right. 
Let's sail straight for here. 64 days, and then we'll sail back up to Nantucket to, uh... What do you call it? To get our stuff. We want we, What we want to do is, when we get back to Nantucket, we want to find some whale hunting grounds. Oh! Um, back to stand rationing. Yeah, back to stand rationing, boys. Look, I know, I know, it's sad, but whatever. Where can I see the crew morale, I wonder? Average morale. Okay, so it's three. Because Francisco is loving life, but Anton and Jack, not so much. Um, you know, it's a few of them are relaxing after a hard day and playing some dice. They invite you to play and ask yourself uh, if that... And you ask yourself if that could solve your money shortage. Ooh. 50% yes, 50% no. 50% yes, my boy! Holy shit! Fortune smiles upon you, and you manage to win some money. $50 and the plot thickens. Oh, I see, so this, the, event, the event goes on. You feel as though you are one with the dice. Although it was early in the evening, you've already won some money. You feel you should play more and take advantage of your luck. <sighs> one more time! Into the breach! Oh my god, I did it! You roll and feel as though nothing can stop you. Oh my god! I've been so lucky so far. I know this is the role where I'm gonna lose. So I mean, I have to try it. Done. Fuck. Damn it. I knew that. I should have tapped out. I should have tapped out. Oh, man. God. Still though. Still though. God. That is, uh, that's, that's quite fun. I like, I like how... It's like... Very story-esque, like all the events. Oh god, this, this fucking... Little crossing here is horrific. So much death. Watch out for the perilous seabeds. Oh, shit. Um. Alright. No, we can't afford to lose it right now. Oh, shit. Someone's... Anton? Damn it. How do I look at Anton? Maximum HP reduced by 10%. Working attribute reduced by 1. Right. I think we just sort of have to leave him. Maybe we have to put him in, like, the forecastle. Will that heal him? I mean, not really. All right. You sail close to the town of the sailor who asked you to help you with his uh, uh, usurer problem. By looking at him, it's evident that he expects you to drop the anchor and help him out with the situation. Um, sure, let's go ashore. After waiting hours for your man to come back, you head to the mainland to see what's going on. Oh my god, we can fight them? What? Hmm. By following a village's instruction- I have something for you, dynamite? What? By following the village's instruction, you reach your crew member's house, a wooden house outside the village. Your man speaks with two shady men. As soon as they realize they are, you are listening, your man smiles and says, Captain, I told you to wait on the ship. Now I'll have to rob you here before emptying your ship. What? Petty thieves, I will give you nothing but pain. My luck! Woohoohoo! You fight the three men by yourself, taking them down one by one. You empty their pockets, making 200 fucking dollars, and return to your ship, with Francisco dead. And then he never trusted a Brazilian again. Let's get back to Nantucket, for fuck's sake. Also, we desperately need our morale to go up, because it's not great right now, that's for sure. Man, oh man, oh man, that's fucking great. I can't believe it. We got a 25% chance. My luck has been through the roof this time. Oh yeah, you can also sort of like try and like dodge these events as they pop up, but I'm generally not at the moment. I probably should be. Um. Oh, should, should we should we dice? We should dice. I made some money. I'm good. I'm happy. I'm happy. For once, I'm good and done. Where is my money exactly as well? No, maybe it's on me. Yeah, there we go. $400. Nice. Touching. Oh, we actually made headway. Shit. Nice. Enter the harbor. And though we sailed into Sydney Harbor, I saw an old friend, but I couldn't guess her. Hey, we've been healed up as well. Lovely. We should take a day just to rest and also look for a sign. Oh, a crafter? No. Scientist. Scientist. All right. Uh, we can't get one. Shit. Cabin boy, I guess. What is this? Seasick. Yeah, it feels like a wrong job for you, mate. Um, smart. Lay goes to the captain if the character dies. Whoa! So you basically just want to kill orphans to steal their lay. Okay, that's fucked. Let's just hire a, a cabin boy, shall we? 
Um, Alright, cool. We'll get some grog. Get some of this. Get some of this. And we're going to go three... Oh, we're not going to have enough money. Alright, sure. Read all about it. The fourth US census says their population is close to 10 million. Eye Infirmary opens the door. It's first eye hospital. And we've released the sixth in, uh, in edition of the Encyclopedia Britannica. So, let's see. Deliver goods. Oh, that's not too bad. 31 days away. Not terrible. Um, oh, get reward. Done, done. No, we're going to try and sail and find some whales. Um, so, let's do exactly that. Also, my harpoons are installed. Good. Um, so we could even boost up the lens. That's not terrible, that idea, but look, I'd rather have the money, so... Let's buy some more wood. Buy some more water. And we are happy. Good, we're fully equipped. Let's go for a quick sail. Hmm. Come on. Come on. I, I do like how like, there's the main quest and the side quest and all that sort of stuff. Um... I'm going to go here and look for some whales, because I know that was where in, you went in the tutorial. So, here we go. I kind of noise you can't scroll in. I guess that the map isn't really big enough. No discovered whaling activity. Come on, there's got to be something around here. I'm just going to go for a bit of an explore and see if we can't find anything. Hunt whales? Yeah, nothing of the sort. Oh, come on, Really? Icebergs ahead. No, it's a storm shit. Really, is there nothing here? I'm just sort of sailing around looking for a whaling area. Alright, we're gonna go back to Nantucket and see if there's another job. Um, my mother wrote to me that my old man's health is rapidly uh, deteriorating. Can we visit your hometown? Sure. Okay, isn't your hometown Nantucket though? Oh no, it's down here. Okay, sure, let's sail down there. We'll visit, and then we'll go back to, uh... <laughs> it's gonna be like, him with his old man sick in bed, and it's gonna be like, Ah, yes, we were planning on robbing you! <laughs> Which is, I presume, how these people spoke. Let him go home. Um, we go here. By following the village instruction, you reach their house. Oh, for fuck's... Oh, shit, no, he's just dead, okay. Your man sits on the front porch with his mother, dressed in mourning. As soon as you approach, he greets you with a bitter smile. He's gone. Gone forever. Um... I'm sorry for your loss. We must depart. Good job. Alright, cool. Let's sail away. Let's go back to Nantucket and see if we can't discover um, a place to actually go whaling. Oh shit, we're caught in this... Oh no, no, we're just uh, slow because there's no wind. Come on. Come on, damn it, wind! Hey, there we go. Um, yeah, I see nothing wrong with this. Jack's pretty lazy. Good stuff. It's not good stuff at all, but whatever. Oh shit. Uh, dysentery? No reason. Everyone's fine. Good stuff. Come on. I really shouldn't have this much bloody water then, should I? Can we... Come on, can we actually, like, pull into Nantucket? Good. Lovely jobs. Read all about it. Hey, there we go. Oh shit, kill Sandoy Cloud? This creature has attacked several ships in the nearby area. Level 9. No, I'm good, I'm good. We're gonna go find a hunting area. Arr, there be pirates now. But no, we're not going to the pirates. We're going up north instead to the Arctic Sea. Here we go, sail away. Donk. Um, so actually, I guess if we went like this way, we're gonna probably go faster, because the winds normally blow this way. Uh, because you can see these lines are where the winds normally blow, but it's not guaranteed. But it's normally. Um, Lady Luck. Luck be a lady tonight! I'm good. I should really just stop doing that, but I'm making so much money from it. Where is all this money coming from? Um, none of my business. Yep, don't care. Alright, switch up north. Oh shit, hang on, let's avoid this. Donk, 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 donk. There we go. So we're gonna go chase down these, uh, these whales and actually get some hunting done. We can then sail into Peterhead once we're, uh, once we're good. We're in the Norwegian Sea. If we can actually get some, uh, fucking, yeah, we got some wind, Jesus. Well, what do you want, mate? Hang on. Oh, shit, um, 
helmsman's lazy. Should I teach him about working hard? Yes, I should. Scold him publicly. Let's just teach him about working hard. Lazy trait removed. Good. Okay, hang on. I was going to say, what was... Jack can uh, cho choose a skill branch. Okay, so if we choose Jack, we look at him real quick. Skills. Okay, so he can either be a harbour master, a whaler man, or a helmsman. Helmsmen are competent sailors, smooth talkers are harbour masters, and whalemen are brave sailors that use their whale boats during the hunt. So that's like, that's like a combat guy. This is for actually travelling. I'm going to go for helmsman and get sailing speed up. Because that's going to be a huge help. Um, sure. Alright, here we go. We're good. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh. Um, oh, loaded dice. Should I go generous trait? No, or go... Hmm. I'll just try and convince him that his actions are wrong. No, I'll get diligent, sure. There we go. Hey there, sailing area. Good. Fin ahoy! You'll look at shit. Sorry, he was like cabin boy. Fin ahoy! You'll look at shit yells as he spots a fin in the distance. Maybe the whale is sighting rumors in this area were true. Lower the whaling boats. Oh shit, the shark! Oh my god, we're fighting. Right. Here is how. Like, this is where we'll end it the combat. So. We'll get Ishmael here. We'll get Anton as my second. And uh, we'll get Jack as my second. And we'll get Anton as my third, right? So here's how the game generally works. There's two types of dice. Um, so you have different types of dice, right? So I roll my hunting dice. I have a three out of six chance to get a strike. This guy rolls his sailing dice. He has a three out of six chance to get a protective maneuver, which does an ability, right? This guy has a chance to get smooth rowing, right? I could also then make them use cabin boy dice, which has a two out of six chance to get a strike, right? So that is how the combat, oh, sorry, a clumsy strike rather, not as good. I assume strike strike. Yeah, all my strikes are better, right? Um, okay, continue. Rain, dirty waters, sea creature special abilities are disabled. Oh, that's good for me, so they're actually worse. Nantucket, this is their hidden ability. He's gonna use an ability on me, so what I'm gonna do is I need to choose the dice, I'm gonna roll the dice. Okay, so protective maneuver gives immunity to a character for this round. I'm going to immune myself, because I have the least HP. Cool. And then, we, yeah, and then I got bit. Oh, shit! I was immune. There we go. So I took no damage. Fucking good luck there. All right. Uh, it's a newborn great white. I just need to roll one damage. So what does smooth rowing do? I can't really check, can I? I guess I can check in, like, out of game or whatever. Let's just roll again. Smooth rowing. What does this do? Reroll a character die. All right. Ishmael, reroll. There we go. Strike. Deal damage. And we've killed it. See, the combat's actually very tactical. Really nice. The day is ours. The waters cease churning and return to, no uh, to normal. You raise your arm and the victory cries your men surround you. Um, okay, so we get to get some food. If it was whales, we could get some blubber. And there's oil, all sorts. Lovely. And we also get some uh, level up. Lovely. So if we check this now. Uh, yeah, rumors. So we, can we are going to sail to Peterhead instead, though. However... That's where I'm going to leave it for now. Um, so if you enjoyed this, let me know and I will make more. I'm fucking, I love this game, actually. It's really well, I, I will play it regardless. Um, let me know what you want to see on it. I might stream it, but I'd prefer to do a YouTube series on it, I think. I don't know, like, I'll, if, if people don't want to see, like, videos of it, if the reaction is generally like, eh, then I'll just stream it. Um, otherwise, I will happily make a series. I might, I might do both, even. What do you mean there's no Suez? What is this? What do you mean there's no Panama? What is this? All right. I'll see you next time. Farewell. <laughs>